Welcome back to the Duran Bengals Dynasty. As this week we send it out to Bowling Green, Ohio for a matchup against the Bowling Green Falcons. Duran comes in at 7 and 3, Bowling Green comes in at 2 and 7. As Duran comes off of a loss last week to Toledo, Bowling Green has dropped two straight. Who will pull out a victory here in week number 13, our last road game of the season? We're excited for this matchup. We won or actually lost last year, came all the way back but could not pull off the victory. And Jimmy Newton's on, tee this one up. And we are underway here from Bowling Green, returning it from his own end zone. Will be Scott Miller, the senior, playing his last game at home here in Barlett, Illinois. He'll bring it down to around the 30-yard line. So obviously a solid game. Actually, this will not be his last game. He'll still have one more game versus Buffalo next week. A little lob pass over towards Miller, and that's a good way to start the game. Scott Miller picking up 16 yards and a first down to open it up for the Falcons. James Morgan will drop back here in the pocket here on first and 10. A little lob pass, and Guyton can't hang on to it. That was actually Jordan Navis Guyton, one of their top receivers. Miller's their leading receiver with over 1,000 yards in the air this year. Second and 10, Morgan drops back. It's going to be a screen pass. He'll fire it over towards Jennings, the running back, and he can't hold on. That was Brian Jennings, the second, the redshirt junior out of Decatur, Illinois. Third and 10 for Bowling Green. Morgan dropping back. Third and 10, looking for something, and he's sacked on the play. Victor Campbell coming out of left field, making a really nice play on the ball. Morgan goes down. Josh Mor or James Morgan's thrown a lot of picks this year, leading the map with 16 picks with only 13 touchdowns. Here's Joshua Sims coming off of a pretty bad performance last week at Toledo. He opens up today with a 14-yard reception over the middle to MJ Cochran, our leading receiver. On um, first and 10, we'll give it to Jamil Rosario out of the backfield. There goes Rosario. There he goes to the outside. Finally brought down, but not before he gets a 10-yard gain. A lot of you guys in the comments have been saying, feed Rosario the football, so that's what we're going to do today. Simsley pitches it late to Rosario on second and inches on the triple option. He gets a pass midfield, a gain of eight. And Jamil Rosario has opened up today's ball game very well for Durant. First and 10 with 5.30 to go. Durant dropping back in the pocket. Sims firing a little lob pass to the sideline. Tyree can't hang on to it. The only man was there was number 24, Tavares Wade. Second and 10 will give a little jet sweep to the Cochran. Tries to put it on the spin move, but still loses three. Not really an effective jet sweep there. Third and 18 after a delay of game from Sims. Sims looking for something over the middle. There's Bowser! Kevin Bowser is gone! The red shirt senior, 56 yards to the house. That's a way to start off the ball game. That was a little 50-50 ball from Sims. And Bowser won the battle, making the catch and running the distance to the house. What a strike from Sims. Throwing a little bit of a risky ball, but he beat Fred Garth, the senior, out of Amory, Mississippi. It's 7-0. Duran leads. Bowling Green will get it back here on first and 10. James Morgan with the football. In motion is going to be the big tight end, Matt Coleman, the true freshman. First and 10. Morgan a little lob to the outside. He overthrew Scott Miller as Morgan's one for four in passing to start today's ball game. Like I said, Morgan has a very bad touchdown interception ratio, but he does throw it for a lot of yards per game. Second and 10 for Morgan to throw a little lob pass to the sideline, and Jar Navis Poe came down with it. That is an impressive catch, and they're going to actually review it, as I don't think he got both feet down. As we look at this one one more time, he did not get both feet down. Or actually, he did not get one foot down, because that's a rule in NCAA. Very close, though, but they would reverse the call, and it would be second down. For, or actually, third down for the Bowling Green Falcons. Then, third and ten for Morgan. Driving back in the pocket. Ben Campbell brought pressure. He's still on his feet, and he's finally brought down. Sacked on the play by number 99. That's Arani Espinosa, the junior out of, the Worthing, out of Worthington, Ohio. So, Bowling Green will punt. will give it to Rosario on first and ten. Picks up three yards, and he's brought down. Second and seven now for Durant as we've played pretty good so far on offense. Sims dropping back. He's going to fire it over the middle. A little risky throw, but he parries it perfectly to Tyree. What a pass. As you can see, Ohio State number 10 lost to Indiana. And number 22, Oklahoma State lost. Sims a little lob to the end zone. MJ Cochran, but it's picked off. Robert Jackson Jr. intercepting it. The senior out of Fort Washington, Maryland. A veteran-led defense and a very, very young offense. As Bowling Green as a very mix of teams. What a play. First and 10, Morgan firing over the middle. That would be their big wide receiver, Derek. I'm not even going to try to pronounce his last name. Hopefully they don't throw him the ball a lot. <laughs> but then on second and three, Morgan dropping back in the pocket, looking for something. He's going to fire it towards the sideline. That's uh, Derek again. He picks up four yards and a first down. I couldn't pronounce his name last year either. 
And then on first and 10, a late hand off to Jennings. There goes Jennings, Brian. Jennings picks up a 10 yards, and that's enough for another first down. Then on first and 10, we give it to Jennings once more, and he picks up nothing, getting back just to the line of scrimmage on the play. As then on second and 10, Morgan are firing it, and he had a man open, but he just way overthrows him. So third and 10 coming up. Bowling Green's 36% on converted on third down. Bowling Green on third and 10. Morgan pressures brought. He fires it short, and that's going to be just shy of the first down. Nice defensive stand as that third down conversion rating will drop even more. First and 10 for Sims. Looking for something deep. He's going to lob it up to Ty Ray, and that pass was knocked away. Montre Gregory with the knock away. And out second and 10 for Durant. Sims dropping back in the pocket. Could have fired over the middle, and Cochran couldn't hold on, as that's going to be an incompletion. Durant is actually 44% on converting on third down. Can we raise that here? Sims trying to fire it, but it's incomplete. And he was hit as he tried to throw it. So Durant will have to punt the football. Bowling Green will get it back here on first and 10. Morgan firing it over towards the sideline. That's Dick Guyton. There goes Dayton Guyton. He gets 20 yards and a first down. We're under a minute to go in the first quarter. A little screen pass here over towards Scott Miller. And Roger Wiley lays his pads into him. What a hit put on from Roger Wiley. Absolutely destroying Miller on the play. So second and six upcoming for Bowling Green State. They usually are called just Bowling Green, but it is Bowling Green State officially. Second and six, Morgan firing it, and the freshman Matt Coleman drops it. The true freshman out of Clinton, Mississippi. Third and six for Bowling Green. Morgan dropping back, looking for something over the middle. There's Matt Coleman, the big true freshman. Makes up for his mistake on the last play. Gets a first down for Bowling Green. And now it's first and ten. Morgan looking for something towards the sideline. There's Jennings, the running back. Loses three, actually, on the reception. Should have just let it go out of bounds. So second and thirteen. Throwing a little lob pass. It's picked up by Freddie McFadden. Nobody's in front of him. It's a race to the end zone. And Freddie McFadden's going to win that race. That's a pick six. What a play. And that opens up the ball game. 14-0. Durand leads. Freddie McFadden completely opens up the game just as the first quarter is expiring. What a play by Durand. Intercepting the screen pass as Morgan threw it right into his hands. And McFadden would go the distance to the house as Durand goes up 14 to nothing in this ball game. What a play by McFadden as he makes an absolute great play on the ball, stealing it away from the receiver, Daytrin Guyton. And then on first and 10, Bowling Green will get it back here to start the second quarter. Morgan dropping back on first and 10, looking for something. He's going to fire it over towards Derek. He's going to be brought down by Bobby Schwend after a 14 yard gain. So another first down upcoming for Bowling Green. Then on first and 10 for the Falcons. Driving back to Morgan, firing over the middle again to Derek. He picks up eight, and it's going to be second down and short upcoming for Bowling Green. They move the ball pretty effectively so far in this ball game. As Morgan drops back, he'll fire it over towards Robinson. There goes Robinson, the fullback. Picks up 15. What a play by Eric Robinson. As he actually has had a pretty good season through the air. Those little, little outside plays that he's had like that. As they'll give it to him once more. Little plays like this could change into big plays as he breaks the tackle and gets down at around the 20-yard line. What a play by Eric Robinson. Then on first and 10, as Bowling Green, as you can see, is a little tired, running the hurry-up offense. Morgan driving back on first and 10, firing it short to Robinson once more. Breaks away from Rashad Huggins, and he's down at around the 9-yard line. It's going to be first and goal for Bowling Green. First and goal, a man in motion, that's Jennings. Morgan dropping back, he's going to fire it towards the end zone, and Guyton makes the reception before going out of bounds. So it's going to be a two-yard reception for Dayton Guyton. Guyton, who's actually played pretty good football. Over the middle, wide open is Guyton. That's a Bowling Green touchdown. They're finally on the board, so it's 14-7. Bowling Green is still down by a touchdown. Sims will keep the read option and lays on the spin move. Fred Garthman had no idea where he went on that play. And then on second and eight, Sims firing over the middle. There's Marcus Tyree wide open. And he's brought down around the 45-yard line. A 40-yard reception for Marcus Tyree. 430 left in the first half. Sims firing her a little lob over the middle. Marcus Tyree came down with it. Down at the seven. And it's going to be second and goal for Duran. Sims on second and goal. Firing it over towards Benny Phillips. He gets a gain of three or four. Or actually gets a gain of seven on the play. And he's finally brought down at around the four or five-yard line. Then Sims on third and goal, stepping up in the pocket. He's going to run with it, and he's going to be stopped at the one. So it's third, or so it's going to be fourth and goal upcoming for Durant, but they're going to go for it. Sims, a little QB sneak on, fourth and goal, and he's going to jump the pile, gets into the end zone. 
21 to 7, the Bengals lead. What a play by Joshua Sims, jumping the pile. A really just fearless play by Joshua Sims. Then on first and 10 for Morgan getting the ball back here. He's going to fire a little screen pass to Jennings. Jennings breaks a tackle. He's up and open field. Picks up a giant gain as he actually gets 12 on the play. It should have been a loss on the play. First and 10 for Morgan. Looking for something deep. He's going to fire it into a wide open top right receiver. A 10-yard reception and he's going to be shy of the first down. So second and inches now for Bowling Green. We have a minute 30 left in the first half. Bowling Green down by 14. Morgan on second and inches. He's going to fire it nowhere near the receiver as that pass falls incomplete. Kind of a really bad pass there from Mr. James Morgan. We'll give a handoff over to Brian Jennings, and they're going to give him the first down. I don't see how you can give him the first down on that play, though. First and ten for Morgan. Looking for something towards the sideline. Ivan Holly could have almost intercepted it. That should have been a pick from Holly. Just drops it. Then off second and ten, Morgan looking for a deep ball, laying it out there, Rashad Huggins one-on-one, -on -one. and Guyton beat him, and he rolls into the end zone, touchdown Bowling Green, 62 yards to the house, Daytron Guyton, what a play for the senior out of Austin, Texas. First and ten with a minute left in the half, Sims looking for a little lob pass over towards Benny Phillips, and Phillips came down with the 31-yard reception, and now Durant could actually score before the end of the half. Third and ten for Durant, Sims. Looking for something. There's a wide open Bauer. That's Kenyon Bauer picking up 15 yards. And another first down for Durant. First and 10, Durant dropping back, rolling out of Sims. Looking for something. He's going to fire to a wide open Kevin Bowser. Touchdown, Bengals. It is now going to be 28 to 14. This game is suddenly wide open for Durant, taking a commanding lead to end the half. Bowling Green will get it with 13 or 30 seconds left. Not really a ton to do with the football. Morgan firing it towards the sideline. Making the catch as the wide receiver picks up 10. And now it's 22 seconds. Bowling Green saws all three timeouts. Morgan driving back in the pocket. Looking for something over the middle. There's a wide open Scott Miller. The best receiver on the team. Does pick up a 12-yard first down reception on the play. Then, first and 10. Morgan driving back. 10 seconds to go. Firing over towards Miller once more. Picks up down to the 40-yard line. Bowling Green will use her second timeout. And now there's 11 seconds left for the Bowling Green Falcons. First and 10. Morgan looking over the middle. There's Brian Jennings. He's going to be brought down after a gain of 8. And now with 5 seconds left, Bowling Green will try a field goal to go into the half. Cunningham the hold. The kick is up. And he nails it. It's going to be 28-17 to going into the halftime. What a play from Bowling Green. And that was how it went in the half. Durant up 28-17. to What a first half of football. Welcome to the halftime report here from Bowling Green. Durant owned the first half both on the offensive and defensive side of the balls. We let up three points at the end of the half, which was a little disappointing because it let them back in the ball game more than they really should have been. Really, this was basically a 21-7 ball game. Obviously, the Guyton catch was really not great defense on Rashad Huggins. That should have been a pick. But we send it out to the second half as Durant will start with it up 28-17. to Bowling Green in this ball game. And now Joshua Sims drops back on a little play action. Look, he's looking for a deep wide open is Corey Martinez. And he balls it down 34 yards and a big first down for Corey Martinez. For Santana, roll out from Sims. Looking for something. He's going to fire it over the middle. There's MJ Cocker and he couldn't hold on to it. Cameron Jeffrey is the leader in interceptions on this team. Deflects it away. Second and ten. Sims lobbing up to Martinez. He came down with it. Are you kidding me? Corey Martinez, 30 yards and a giant first down for Durant. First and ten. We're going to do a little triple option. The triple option man's Martinez. We try to force it to him. And he falls on it. What great hustle by Corey Martinez. A bad pitch from Sims. But Martinez saves us of a turnover. Second and nine. A read option. Sims will keep it himself. Break into the outside. He's brought down after a five-yard gain. A nice play there from Joshua Sims. Then on third and three, Sims dropping back in the pocket. He's going to fire over the middle. Cochran drops it, and Durant will have to put up three points on the board. Kind of a disappointing result for that drive, though. 31-17, Durant leaves. He'll fire it over towards Brian Jennings. The second, a seven-yard reception, and now it's second and two for Bowling Green. We'll give it to Jennings on the ground now. He picks up five on the play, and that's the first down for Brian Jennings. A nice play there from the Bowling Green running back. First and ten, James Morgan. He's going to fire it over towards the middle. There's Guyton. Came out of nowhere and makes the reception. He was lost in coverage. Makes a really nice play on the ball. 
First and ten for Morgan. Rolling out right, he's gonna fire it. And Freddie McFadden drops it. That could have easily been his second interception of the ball game. Second and ten now for Bowling Green. Dropping back is Morgan. Three minutes to go in the third quarter. He'll fire it short to Daytron Guyton. Picks up three. And now it's third and seven for Bowling Green. Third and seven. Looking to the sideline is Morgan as he's gonna try to hurry this up. Us offense. Jennings is in motion on third and seven. Morgan driving back. He's going to fire it over the middle. Daytron Guyton wide open. Picks up 19 yards. A giant first down for Bowling Green State. First and 10 for Bowling Green. Jennings in motion. He's going to fire it to Jennings towards the sideline. Picks up a yard or two. And on second and nine for Bowling Green. Morgan dropping back on second and nine. Pressure was brought and he had to just fire it away. As that was Roger Wiley who got to the quarterback. Third and nine for Bowling Green. There in field goal range, he'll fire it over towards Stevens, the back of Bernie back. There he goes, an open field, and he's brought down at the two-yard line. What a play by the backup, making it down to the two-yard line. First and goal for Bowling Green, Morgan over the middle, and that pass is going to be not caught, but they're going to rule pass interference on him. I could not believe this call when I was playing this game. I was going crazy, as they called Obadiah Rouse the senior for pass interference. I could not believe it. So it will repeat first and goal. Morgan dropping back. Wide open is Taylor. Tyler Trailer makes the catch. Touchdown Bowling Green. And suddenly it's just a seven point ball game. This is getting scary if you're Durand as we have just blown our whole lead. They're only, da oh, they're only down by a touchdown now. And now it's 31-24. Durand will get the ball back. I'll give up the middle to Rosario. He got nothing. No blocking. Number 19 it was completely untouched. That was Brandon Harris, the senior out of Cleveland, Ohio. Second and 11. And Sims was brought down on the play. A loss of six. That was David Konowalski. What a play he's had. And what a season he's had. Sims on third and forever. He's going to roll out right. Looking for something deep. He's going to air it out to Benny Phillips. And that pass was knocked away by Cameron Jeffries. His second deflection of the game. And now it's fourth and 17 for Durand. That's an easy decision. We're going to punt it. Bowling Green has a chance to tie it with a minute left in the third quarter. Fire it over towards Brian Jennings. That'll get it done. Just continues to move the ball down the field. First and ten. Rolling out. He's going to fire it. He had a man open. That was Matt Coleman, but he could not deliver the ball to him. So second and ten for Bowling Green. Dropping back is going to be Morgan. Looking for something deep. He's going to fire it. And Roger Wiley picks it off. The second interception for Durant on the ball game. Roger Wiley coming up huge. And the Durant sideline explodes after that play. Kind of coming out of nowhere. Roger Wiley makes his first pick of the year. Jamil Rosario on first and 10. Durant adds all the momentum coming into this drive. Now, last play of the third quarter. Sims on second and one. He's going to roll out right, look over something deep. He's just going to take off. A really smart decision from Joshua Sims. Picks up eight yards instead of for throwing a forced pass and having it be incomplete. The first play of the fourth quarter, it's going to be a read option. Sims will keep himself on the play. There goes Joshua Sims to the outside. There goes Sims. Spins out of bounds, and he's finally brought down. First and ten, a little lob pass. And that's almost picked off. Cameron Jeffries drops it. That should have been an easy interception, but he just couldn't hold on. Second and ten for Sims. Firing it towards the sideline. That pass dropped by Robert Jackson Jr. Already has a pick in the game. Should have had his second one there. Third and ten for Sims. A couple of crucial drops from Bowling Green. Sims on third and ten. Fires it to Rosario. He picks up three yards. And now it's going to be field goal range for Durand. Here comes Jimmy Newton. The kick is up. And it's easy. Good. Durand has a ten point lead. What that turnover caused was huge for Bowling Green. There he goes, Brandon Jennings. Brian Jennings, sorry. Picks up three and outs, third and seven. Bowling Green. Morgan dropping back. He's going to fire it over towards the wide open. Scott Miller. Duran just couldn't play coverage on that play. Completely lost him. And then first and ten for Morgan. He's going to fire it again. Wide open's Daytron Guyton. Picks up a solid game of 18. And now it's first and ten upcoming for Bowling Green. Five minutes to go in this ball game. We'll get up the middle of the Jennings. Jennings gets about a yard or two. Not really getting anything here. Second and eight for James Morgan. Firing it again to Robinson, the fullback. There he goes into open space. Trucks a couple of defenders, but he fell down after that. Here's Morgan. He's thrown two interceptions so far. He hands it up the middle to Brian Jennings. Picks up a yard. And now it's second and nine for Bowling Green. Four minutes to go in the game. Stevens in motion to the outside. Morgan dropping back. He's going to fire it to the end zone. And coming down with the pick was Derek... I don't even know. Pudavong. <laughs> First and goal. James Morgan will run into the end zone. He cuts the deficit to just three. A nice read option take there from James Morgan. It's now 34-31. to 31.
Bowling Green's only down by a field goal. So Durand will have the football here with about four minutes to go in the game. Durand, Jimmy or er, Joshua Sims rolling out here on first and ten, looking for something. He's just gonna take off with it, and he's pushed out of bounds, but he still picks up nine yards in the play. A nice job from Joshua Sims. Durand's gonna try to burn out the clock. Second and one, they give it to Rosario. He picks up six. An okay day for Rosario. We need to give him the ball more next week on Senior Day. Actually, I'm really excited for Senior Day as MJ Cochran bowls over the defender, picks up 11. We have a lot of seniors on this offense. Obviously, you guys have, you have guys like Kevin Bowser, Seth Chapman, a lot of guys in the defense, Bobby Schwend, Ikeka Lopez, Reggie Archer, Curry Malloy, Abd Obadiah Rouse. I can mention more names, but I'm not going to. We'll go over the full list on Senior Day. Seth Chapman picks up two on the game. Bowling Green will burn their first time out. It's third down. A huge play for Joshua Sims here on third and four. Little read option. Sims will keep it himself. There he goes. He's going to stay on his feet and he's brought down to the 30 yard line. A 13 yard run and Bowling Green will call the second time out. First and 10 for Durand. A touchdown wins it. A field goal puts them up by six. Sims will keep it himself here on first and 10. He gets a block. There goes Joshua Sims. Breaks the tackle. Touchdown Durand. Joshua Sims. 30 yards into the house, and Durant has just won the ball game, and they will be victorious more than likely if they can just hold on in the last two minutes. What a run from Joshua Sims, used his blockers beautifully. That's the quarterback we wanted, we've wanted. we wanted all year, we just have not consistently had him. What a run, Durant's up 41-31, this game's basically out of reach. Morgan sacked by Ronnie Espinosa, adding the exclamation point on that play. Espinosa just a junior out of Worthington, Ohio, making a nice impact this year, at least in this game. Third and 17, Bowling Green is one timeout. Morgan going to air it all deep. A deep ball picked off by Ivan Hawley. That will be the ball game. Ivan Hawley will return this one down to around the 25. And the Duran Bengals will win here in week number 13. Pull off the win here in Bowling Green on the road. And we will send it out to week number 14 next week as we will be taking on the Ball State Eagles, or the Ball State Cardinals, sorry, the former champions of the MAC. Won it last year in the championship game. Looking to send it back to Detroit next year. Duran still has a chance to go to Detroit as Joshua Sims and the Duran Bengals hold on here in week 13. If you guys enjoyed, please drop a like on it. Subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys all next time. Thank you. And goodbye.